Hi, nice to see you again. So far, there are 36 Godzilla movies that have been made and are being shown around the world. From the Godzilla movie in 1954 to the Godzilla vs. Kong movie in 2021. Of these many Godzilla movies, there are Godzilla movies whose stories are continuous with other movies and some are not. However, there is also a Godzilla movie that reconnects its story with the 1954 Godzilla movie, even though the Godzilla movie was made and released in the 2000s. The first was 1954's Godzilla. The 1954 movie Godzilla was the first and most revolutionary of its time, and it began with a giant monster. This movie is directed by Ishiro Honda, and his Godzilla character is played by Haruo Nakajima. This movie tells the story of humans trying to expel a destructive creature named Gojira that appeared as a result of a hydrogen bomb experiment and was originally an ancient creature. But because of the bomb, he woke up and mutated to become very large. Because of the genius of a scientist named Dr. Serizawa, Godzilla can be destroyed with his homemade oxygen bomb, the Destroyer. Second, Godzilla Raids Again, 1955. A year after the first Godzilla movie was released, the movie Godzilla Raids Again is finally showing. It was explained that the Godzilla in this movie is a new Godzilla of the same species as the one who died in the previous movie. This movie is also the first to feature another kaiju, namely Nangairas. Third, King Kong vs. Godzilla, 1962. After the success of the Godzilla character that became known in America, finally the Toho and RKO production houses teamed up to bring Godzilla together with the giant ape character from America, King Kong. The movie is entitled King Kong vs. Godzilla, which became one of the most recognized collaborative movies of all time. The opening of this movie proves that the story still has something to do with the movie Godzilla Raids Again, where Godzilla emerges from a block of ice after being buried by Japanese soldiers in the previous movie. Fourth, Mothra vs. Godzilla, 1964. After releasing the first movie Mothra in 1961, Kaiju Mothra finally joined the world of Godzilla in 1964. The movie's story has nothing to do with previous Godzilla movies, but has a direct connection to the 1961 movie Mothra. So this Godzilla figure is truly a new Godzilla figure. Fifth, Ghidorah, the Three-Headed Monster, 1964. A few months later, after the movie Mothra vs. Godzilla was released, Toho also released the movie Ghidorah, the Three-Headed Monster, which was the first debut for Godzilla's nemesis, King Ghidorah. Even though this movie was released in the same year as the previous movie, the story of this movie has nothing to do with the previous movie. This movie really has a new story that tells the conflict of the four kaiju, starting with Godzilla, Mothra, Rodan, and King Ghidorah. This is the first movie to make Godzilla a good character. 6. Invasion of Astro Monsters, 1965 Invasion of Astro Monster is a sequel to the movie Ghidorah, the three-headed monster. After Godzilla managed to win over King Ghidorah in the previous movie, King Ghidorah continues to invade other planets. One of them is Planet X, whose inhabitants seek assistance from Earth, but soon attempt to invade it by controlling the kaiju on Earth. 7. Ebera, Horror of the Deep, 1966 In this movie, Godzilla fights a giant lobster named Ebera. The storyline is slightly related to the previous movie, evidenced by the characters saying that Godzilla won after fighting King Ghidorah. Thus, this proves that this movie is a sequel to the movies Ghidorah, The Three-Headed Monster, and Invasion of Astro Monster. 8. Sons of Godzilla, 1967 In this movie, it is explained that Godzilla can also have children, although it is not known who the mother is. Everyone admits that Manila is Godzilla's child, 
but in a more abstract form than his father. The story of this movie does not indicate that this is a sequel to the previous movie. But since the beginning of the story, the characters in this movie are no strangers to Godzilla. Nith, Destroy All Monsters, 1968. Compared to previous Godzilla movies, Destroy All Monsters is a movie with the most kaiju characters. There are even new characters that have never been compared to Godzilla. However, this movie has no story connection with any Godzilla movies. This movie really has a new story telling about all the kaiju of the Earth who fight against the kaiju from outer space, King Ghidorah. 10th, All Monsters Attack in 1969. This Godzilla movie also has no story connection with the previous movies. However, this movie is a remake of the 1967 movie, Son of Godzilla, with a very different story. In this movie, there is a little boy named Ichiro who has a psychic relationship with Manila. Every time Ichiro dreams, he will see what happened to Manila and Godzilla. 11th, Godzilla vs. Hedorah in 1971. This movie has no story ties to other movies, but in this movie, Godzilla fights the iconic kaiju, where Hedorah is always shown as a kaiju with an abstract shape and it overwhelms Godzilla because of Hedorah's strange body. 12. Godzilla vs. Jigen in 1972 Godzilla in this movie also fights a very interesting kaiju. This is the first appearance of Jigen, who goes on to become one of Godzilla's most formidable foes, coupled with the arrival of King Ghidorah. But in this movie, Godzilla is assisted by Anguirus, even though there are kaiju characters that have appeared in the previous movies, this movie has a new story and is not related to the previous movies. However, this movie has a connection with the story of the next movie. 13. Godzilla vs. Megalon, 1973 This movie is one of the most memorable Godzilla movies because it presents a figure Jaguar Jets for the first time. Jet Jaguar is a fan-made kaiju character chosen from a contest held by Toho for the promotion of the Godzilla movies. It is said that Jigen, who lost in the previous movie, returns to Earth and ally with Megalon. Megalon is a kaiju that originates from a group of underwater humans. 14. Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla, 1974 Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla is the most famous movie because it features the kaiju robot character, Mechagodzilla. It is said that Mechagodzilla was sent by an alien nation called Simeons to defeat Godzilla and at the same time a tool to dominate the Earth. Godzilla teams up with King Kaiser, trying to stop him. This movie has a few references from the previous movie where it was stated that Godzilla once fought alongside his ally and Gyrus. However, because there are already a lot of movies showing Godzilla with Angiris, it is not certain which movie is meant. 15th, Terror of Mechagodzilla, 1975. This movie is a direct sequel to Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla. The movie presents Mechagodzilla, which has been repaired by the simians, assisted by a mad professor. Besides Mechagodzilla, this time Godzilla also has to deal with Titanosaurus. This movie marked the end of the Showa era for Godzilla, and there were no more Godzilla movies for nearly 10 years until the Heisei era began with the movie. 16. The Return of Godzilla, 1984 This is surprising, because this movie is a sequel to the first Godzilla movie in 1954. So in that way, Toho reconstructs the story of the movie that started with the 1954 Godzilla movie, regardless of the stories of other Showa-era Godzilla movies. This is a Godzilla reboot that continues the 1954 movie Godzilla. The story of the movie The Return of Godzilla actually begins at the beginning. There is no other kaiju raging in Tokyo besides Godzilla. This movie only features humans fighting Godzilla, another species of Godzilla who died in 1954. 17th, 
Godzilla vs. Biollante, 1989. This movie is a direct sequel to the movie The Return of Godzilla. It features one of Godzilla's most famous foes, Biollante. It is said that there was a scientist who combined Godzilla's DNA with a rose, creating a giant plant monster. After his experiment was mixed with his dead daughter's DNA. In this movie, the character Meiki Segusa, who has telepathic abilities with Godzilla, her appearance will be very frequent in this Heisei era. 18th, Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah, 1991. This is a sequel to the movie Godzilla vs. Biollante, one of the most memorable movies because it features the character Mecha King Ghidorah. It is said that Mecha King Ghidorah was created by a group of people from the future using the body of King Ghidorah who had been defeated by Godzilla. But instead of just being used to destroy Godzilla, Mecha King Ghidorah was originally used as a tool to destroy Japan with the aim of stopping Japan from becoming a superpower in the future. That's all for part one of the story about the Godzilla movies. Stay tuned for part two. And if you feel this video is useful for you, please support us by clicking the like button, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you next time.